Even though it is quite old and only about a third of the size of other telescopes, the Hubble Space Telescope is still considered one of the best in the world. The Hubble Telescope has a mirror that is 2.4 meters in diameter, which is standard for modern research telescopes. Its optics are also entering their third decade of use, but it is a pitiful sight when compared to the enormous 8 to 10 meter telescopes that have been erected on the ground, and there are plans for even larger ones in the near future. Even though it routinely outperforms several of the most advanced ground-based telescopes and is still considered to be at the pinnacle of optical and ultraviolet astronomy, the demand for its use in research far exceeds the amount of viewing time that is made available each year. The Top 3 Revelations from Hubble 1. At a speed of 17,500 miles per hour, the Hubble telescope has traveled the same distance as it would take to get to Neptune, the planet in our solar system that is the most distant. 2. More than 13.4 billion light years into the past, into regions of space that are extremely remote from Earth, Hubble has been peering through its telescopes. 3. Since it first began operating in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has racked up approximately 1,300,000 observations. So, what exactly has the Hubble Telescope uncovered? Because of its lofty altitude, the Hubble Space Telescope is able to circumvent a number of atmospheric phenomena that would normally interfere with observations if they were carried out on the ground. UV astronomy is nearly impossible to perform from the ground due to the presence of pollutants such as ozone that block ultraviolet light in the higher atmosphere. This, along with the absence of turbulent air currents that cause stars to appear to twinkle, makes it possible for Hubble to take photographs of the cosmos that are among the clearest and most in-depth that have ever been taken. As it continuously displays photographs of space, Hubble consistently provides us with a window into the past. This is due to the fact that an observer is located at a great distance away from the source of the light before it can reach them. Because of the delay, the Andromeda Galaxy, which is our closest neighboring galaxy, appears exactly the same as it did more than 2.5 million years ago. This is true even for objects that are relatively close to us. This indicates that Hubble and other similar telescopes can be used similarly to time machines in order to research the history of the cosmos. The following are some of its most significant contributions to scientific research. A contribution to the conclusion that the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years, making it approximately three times as old as Earth. Nixum's Hydra are the names of two of Pluto's moons that have been discovered. Aided in the development of our knowledge regarding the rate at which the universe is expanding. It has been discovered that there is an extremely massive black hole at the center of virtually every major galaxy. The three-dimensional representation of dark matter. What the Hubble Space Telescope discovered, a timeline. The Hubble Space Telescope was finally put into orbit in 1990, after having been prepared for launch for nearly 20 years. A significant blurring effect was caused by a miscalculation with Hubble's mirror when the Space Telescope was initially launched in 1993. As a result, the capacity of the Space Telescope to perform astronomical research that breaks new ground was significantly hindered. The incredible optical clarity that Hubble now possesses is a direct result of the very first servicing mission, which saw astronauts on the Space Shuttle Endeavour repair a crack that had appeared in Hubble's mirror. When Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter in 1994, an unusual event for a cometary impact, Hubble was able to capture images of the massive plume of debris that was left behind as a result of the collision. In addition, the observations that Hubble made of Galaxy M87 unearthed unmistakable evidence of the existence of supermassive black holes at the nuclei of galaxies. In 1995, 
Hubble took the picture that would go on to become famous as the Pillars of Creation image of the Eagle Nebula. This image was captured by the Space Telescope. In the year 2001, Hubble was able to obtain atmospheric readings of the exoplanet HD 209458b. In 2004, when the Hubble Ultra Deep Field was made available to the public, it enabled researchers to look even further back into the past of the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope took pictures of Pluto in 2005 and discovered that the planet has two moons. In 2007, Hubble made the startling discovery that the dwarf planet Eris is significantly larger than Pluto. With Hubble's assistance, a three-dimensional map of the distribution of dark matter in the universe was also produced. The first ever photograph of an extrasolar planet, which was later determined to be formal B, was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in the year 2008. The year that Hubble completed its 100,000th orbit around the Earth was also the year that it found organic compounds on a planet outside of our solar system. In 2010, Photographs taken by the Hubble Space Telescope showed galaxies at ages when the universe was only a tenth of its current age. This indicated that the galaxy's redshifts, which are a measure of distance used in cosmology, were greater than a. In addition, images of a collision between two asteroids, the likes of which had never been seen before, were captured by Hubble. The spectroscopic study that marked Hubble's one millionth observation took place in 2011, and it focused on the extrasolar planet known as Hat P7b. There have been almost 10,000 research papers published that use data from the Hubble telescope. In 2012, Hubble's camera was able to take pictures of seven early-type galaxies from a population that was extremely far away and formed approximately 13 billion years ago. The galaxies appeared exactly the same as they do today when the age of the universe was only 4% of what it is now. This time period is depicted in the photos. In the latter part of that year, Hubble discovered an object that existed when the universe was only 3% of its present age, which is only 470 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery shattered the previous record by a significant margin. In 2013, scientists using Hubble were able to observe water vapor emanating from the surface of Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter. This was the very first time that scientists had ever been able to determine the real color of a planet that orbits another star. In 2014, the Hubble Space Telescope revealed the most comprehensive weather map ever created for an extrasolar planet and witnessed the first ever fragmentation of an asteroid. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing was observed for the first time in 2015 by the Hubble Space Telescope. This phenomenon occurs when the massive gravity of a foreground galaxy acts like a cosmic magnifying glass, amplifying and splitting the image into a cross-shaped pattern of light from a distant exploding star. Who was honored by having the Hubble Space Telescope named in his honor by NASA. This piece of equipment was given its name in recognition of Edwin Hubble, an eminent astronomer from the United States. These observations were carried out by him between 1922 and 1923 while he was working at the Mount Wilson Observatory in California. At the time, the Hooker Telescope, which measured 2.5 meters in diameter, was the largest in the world. The discovery that the universe was expanding as a result of Hubble's observations of galaxies stunned the scientific community and laid the groundwork for the Big Bang theory of the origin of the universe. What was the price of the Hubble telescope? There is a cost associated with having the title of having the most historical significance of any telescope. Only the future James Webb Space Telescope will have a higher initial construction cost than Hubble did, about $2 billion US, while Hubble's ongoing operating expenses have already surpassed $10 billion US.
Our couple was the first space telescope to ever have its initial construction costs surpassed. However, the entirety of the astronomical community is in agreement that it is more than worth the prize. This is not only due to the fact that its observations make it possible for world-class astronomy to be conducted, but also due to the fact that it gives people everywhere a glimpse of the wonders of the cosmos.